Well, how y'all doing? So LeBron James passes Karl Malone for second on the all-time scoring list, and congratulations to him. I want to give Karl Malone a respect because Karl Malone never gets his respect as the mailman. You know, he kept getting better and better. He was one of the greatest power forwards ever and a prolific scorer. In a lot of years, he finished second behind Michael Jordan in scoring. You know, it was a funny thing, too, because – I remember reading Will Chamberlain's who's running the asylum, and he used to point that out. And a lot of people fail to realize Carmelo was a double-double man, and he helped lead Utah to two West to uh, two title runs. They lost to Chicago, Jordan was playing, and what have you, and Pippen, and Phil Jackson, and Rodman. But Carmelo is one of those unforgotten uh, offensive forces. You know, you can think about it. Um, and I tell you right now, but Carmelo was playing today, they didn't play. That's what Utah is missing right now. Between Gobert and Donovan Mitchell, they had a Carl Malone type. They would win. They would own the West for the next four or five years. And I bet you LeBron would try to get him on his team or try to get to Utah. Believe that. Because Carl Malone's style with what the play is today, oh, he would be, if he would be in, he'd, he'd average about 30, 35 easily, you know, easily in today's game, considering all the points he scored. Um, yeah, I, I can think of quite a few teams. Because when I look at Giannis Antupovo, who kind of has like a Shaq, Carl Malone has a growl, goes to the lane. There's quite a few teams. If there was a Carl Malone type player out today, you know, a lot of people didn't like Carl Malone because he was a country brother and he played in Utah and they thought that was a really white spot. And I, and I understand that. But the cat could play, you know, because somewhere in that argument with Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, um, and those guys, and you know, Carl Malone was in there with Charles Barkley too, because that 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 debate about who's better out of Barkley and and Carl Malone is real. But Carl Malone just had the work ethic. He wasn't as talented as Charles Barkley, and he didn't have the overall depth of game that Tim Duncan or the or the finesse and flares Garnett. And I can mention a few others, but I'm gonna tell you something: that guy could go pound for pound. He was a physical being. He could score. And he could, and when he got that fade away, that was sick. And plus, he could run the court. Very athletic, very underrated, athletic, a great player. That's why he's one of the greatest ever. I mean, for real, no matter what you think about him, that cat could play. So just paying him some respect as LeBron passed him. Because LeBron put you in the frame of mind, Park Carl Malone, with the styling, the physicality, especially when he drives, when he gets physical. So congratulations to LeBron James, but let's. Let's give uh, Carl Malone his flowers, too. Hit me, sit the like, subscribe, with some thoughts, comments. And what did you think about Carl Malone and that LeBron's passing? Please hit like, let me know, and please subscribe. And I welcome thoughts, comments, and I will respond. And you have a great day. Be safe. Be careful. I'm out.